Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can set up the Twitter API type hook for Fate UHC, which is one of our plugins we make here at BQHC Development. Um, if you are new here, consider subscribing, liking, and commenting because it really helps us out. Let's get started. So, first thing we actually have to do is head into our Fate UHC configure file, which will be the tweetconfig.yml. And this is going to tell you exactly what you're going to need to do this. You want to make sure first it's enabled, which you can just change this from false to true when you first download the plugin. If you want it to auto send tweets, you can change that to true personally for me i don't want it to auto send tweets so i'm going to keep it false um but obviously then it asks you for these four tokens and you may be wondering where in the world do i get these four tokens well i'm going to show you so we're going to head over to twitter developer uh so it's actually developer.twitter.com go ahead and click on that and it will send you to this page and then you're just going to go to your top right hand corner you'll either see a icon of whatever server or twitter account you're logged into or it will ask you to log in log in with the twitter account you want to use for this method so if you want to use this for your server twitter account log in with that you're going to need that then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and press where it says apply and it will say apply for access and you're going to have to press apply for a developer account this is where you're actually going to just uh go ahead and just um text things here so for a personal project we're just going to use this because all we're doing is making a bot that tweets automatically um, we're going to go ahead and click next. It'll say, is this you, Sharky MC server? Is it an individual? You're signing up for an individual. Uh, here's your email. What country do you live in? Just select wherever you live in. For me, it's United States. Uh, what would you like to call us? This would be the name of your account, Sharky MC. Um, and I'll just go ahead and click next. In your words, to really describe how you plan to use Twitter data, sending auto messages via a Minecraft server plugin. This will allow us to connect our Twitter to the plugin and tweet out when games begin or end. It will also display who won the game and their stats for that game or something along the lines of that. You just kind of want to make it um, as easy as possible for them to understand. Are you planning to analyze the Twitter data? We're not. Will your app tweet, retweet, like, or follow? Yes. Um, and we're just going to say it will tweet only and display information regarding the game taking a place within the Minecraft server. Something like that. Do you plan to display tweets uh, outside of Twitter? So wherever, if you decide to do that, you can. In this case, we're not displaying that. Will your Twitter make stuff a government entity? We are not, obviously. Go ahead and click next. Primary use, making a bot, sending auto tweets. Looks good. Then you're just going to go ahead and sign this developer agreement and submit it. And it will say, thank you for um, applying for access. We'll send an email here. Click the confirmation to complete the thing. Um, and I'm going to hop over and do that right now. All right, so once you go to your email, you can see application under review. Where you are reviewing it, it may take a little while to do that, and they'll email you back when you're ready. So I'm going to hop over to when they email me back, and we can go ahead and check out the next step. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched to my account that's already been verified, so I can take a look and show you how you can currently set up a new app and get those codes. So by default, you have this dashboard here, which is just, uh, they have premium products and stuff for the API. We're not using any of that, so we're not going to have to buy anything, luckily. Um, so what we're going to actually do is we're actually going to go ahead and click here and we're going to click apps, click your name and then the apps. You can see there will be a, a current apps that you currently have, but we're actually going to create, if you have any, this is if you've been using Twitter developer before. And if you don't have one, you're just going to create, click create an app. This is where we're going to enter everything. So app details, we're going to do YouTube video or like whatever you want to do. Um, auto tweet. I don't know. You want to put whatever you want your app name to be. Then you can describe it here, Minecraft, Minecraft connection for Twitter API in Fate UAC or whatever you want to say here. Then you're going to go ahead and scroll down. Website URL, just enter the URL of your server if you want. You can pretty much enter any URL here for whatever your website is. Um, and then you can you enable sign in with Twitter. We're not doing that, so we don't have to worry about it. We don't have a callback URL or any of this other stuff. And then we just explain how it's used here. So this app will be used to tweet directly from a Minecraft plugin to Twitter to inform users on game status. Something like that. Go ahead and click create. You can see it will say, hey, automation. 
Um, you should be careful of the automation rules. Uh, sensitive information, government. Just make sure you read all these policies. Go ahead and click create and you can see we have created our app. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to keys and tokens and this is where you're going to get your two or your actually four keys. So your API key is going to be the first key we're going to take and that is your uh, consumer auth key and we're going to go ahead and paste that in. Key secret, you're just going to take this and then that is your consumer key secret. And then we actually have to get these two and this is what the next thing we're going to do here is click access token and access secret token click generate and you're going to take the access token and you're going to put that here for the access token and you're going to take the access token secret and you're going to put that here in this final one go ahead and save then we're going to go ahead and launch the server and we're going to take a look and see if it tweets out correctly so we're going to go ahead and start the server and i'm going to hop in game all right, now that we're in server, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do slash tweet and it will open up the tweet manager and click auto starts tweet. And if it says successfully sent, we know it's sent. Let's go ahead and check Twitter. And there is our auto tweet. Whitelist for fate UAC is now off. Game type FAA, bedrock walls 2000, nether false scenarios none. Starting in 000, join our server. So clearly this is designed to be uh, like in a color code. So you can configure this in your chat um, wherever you want. I'm just gonna delete this tweet. So um, it's not on the company Twitter. But um, overall, there you go. You have successfully set it up. It tweets out. You're good to go. Hopefully, this did help you understand how you can set this up. It's literally just grabbing stuff and waiting for an application. Um, so hopefully, it did help. And I know it's kind of changed over the years since my last video, so I did want to do an update. We'll see you in two days for another 5M video.